Why was that tension in Kenya, in our country, when General Dagalo was around? You know now, uh, U.S. walikuwa uh, mesanction Dagalo. And Dagalo apendi mambo na ya U.S. Dagalo apendi mambo na capitali, uh, capitalism. Eh? Dagalo akosaidi ya Russia. And that man is very powerful. So ndi uliona pia tulikuwa na issues na Sudan mbaka waka recall their ambassadors. Uh, now, you need to know which Dagalo, and ito Lieutenant General Dagalo. Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Dagalo, dia likuwa uh, manajeshi ambaye alikuwa wamepewa jukumu la kulinda rais El Bashir wa Sudan. Eh, walikuwa na ki, so, yeye ya nakuanga mekomand kitengo kinito RSF, Rapid Support eh force na ni kitengo kimepata like i think ni wase wamefanya is a very strong army na wako na training kali sana juda galo ni mrefu sana alienda aka aka ingia wagner group akafanya nini agreement na wao so wao ndio wakapea hicho kikosi chake mafunzo mingi sana ukapata like rsf eh? wanajua sana wanajua mambo ya wanajeshi sana they are smarter than jeshi ya hiyo inji. I think now you are getting my point. First, before we go there, we need to know that El Bashir, the Akua president, alikuwa pia general. So, ali overthrow president, alikuwa naito Sadiq Al-Maid. Sadiq Al-Maid, the Akua president wa Sudan at those time, in 1980s pale. So, Ali Tulabi, there is a guy called Ali Tulabi, the Alishikana na Al-Bashir, ku overthrow eh kovadiro eh, sadiq al maid so el bashir wakati amekuwa president akafanya makosa moja akasema so sudan itakuwa ni nchi ya kiarabu peke yake na mambo ya muslim peke yake hakuna christianity yes yes so kutoka hapo akaanza kukosana na americans so wakati alianza kukosana na americans eh, na akaona sasa popularity yake imeanza kwenda chini na kusumbua na sumbua na juu there is a time kulikuwa na war you remember the world darfur Yana stories ming pale Sudan. Uh, that time the early form RSF will form you. So RSF ikakuwa informed ya kumchunga nani the president. So ujama alikuwa kwa nitwa Dagalo alipata power mingi sana because he was a free man in that country. Sababu ye ndiye kwa karibu na president. So when time came Dagalo now who was here na he is the one who overthrew uh, president El Bashir. So yenda alimshika akamwarest it's RSF now. Walimshika akamwarest na akamtupa jela. So now yes from there now Dagalo was supposed to be the deputy president and Burhan who is the now major general wa Sudan yenda alikuwa na fa akuwe president sababu yeye ni mwa, katika akiwa major general huyo ndio wa hiyo inchi Dagal ni private but ni mwana wote ni wanajeshi wa hiyo nje but the girl was very smart so the girl ali ulipata like hiyo hiyo RSF yake alikuwa anawalipa pesa mingi kuliko venye askari wa Sudan wanajeshi wa Sudan analipo yes so akapata popularity tukapata wanajeshi wengi wa hiyo nje wanataka kujoin na vijana wanataka kujoin RSF na sababu RSF pia ilikuwa wanapewa mafunzo fiti sababu yeye alikuwa pia amepiga agreement na Wagner group Wagner group ni ile kitengo mbaya sana cha wanajeshi wale wakali sana zaidi Russia. So General Dagalo ako na cheo katika Wagner group. Connection, Connection. na cheo pia. Na katika Afrika yeye ndio mwanajeshi ule mkubwa like for now says Africa he is among ule mwanajeshi mkubwa sana. Huyo Dagalo alikuwa hapa. Ndio maana kulikuwa na tashushi sana sababu inji zote za Kiarabu amesign contract nazo. He fights on their behalf. So, for example, kama vile Yemen kukua na vita, Dagalo mwenye ndi alitoka uku Afrika, haka enda haka zikomesha na karudi. So, injiote hata katara ama nini, we attack. It is General Dagalo, who will, akipeleka forces zaki hapo, mutatoka. So, mataifa zote za kiarabu zina muinamia. And if you listen, our what we know about force yake, are they Sudanese? Yeah. Ni Sudanese? Na ni vile amewapatia mafunzo fiti wanajeshi wa kipewa mafunzo fiti wamepa mafunzo fiti na ampatia like zile vitu ambazo zinahitajika kwa mwanajeshi ile treatment mwanajeshi anahitaji again dagalo ni tajiri sana 
sababu uh, wakati yeye alienda ni mrefu sana sababu alienda akaleta eh, watu wakaangalia Sudan mineral hold the minerals so kule kuna gold mine zote alichukua yeye mwenyewe akachukua gold mine zote so gold yake ikiuzwa iki, ikichimbwa ni yake yote so amejenga mpaka barracks kando hizo gold mines so amejenga hami barracks pale na ma airport so babu yake anapelekanga direct kwenda kuuza Dubai so yeye yake ipitange airport inaendanga na hizo chopa na hizo nini za hami za jeshi inaenda mpaka Dubai anaenda kuuza juu soko kubwa duniani ile kubwa ya ya dhahabu iko Dubai either hata uibe Dubai uibe uibe dhahabu hapa ukienda Dubai utauza bila kuuliza na mtu nikuulize si illegal mtu mmoja kukua na such power unajua sasa alipata hizi e power through the president president alimpata hizi power na yeye president needed him to be powerful akiwa freeman ndiye aweze kuchungwa you know when president ame lose des- uh, ame lose popularity anaanza kuwa desperate i'll also give you an example another president president wa gini alikuwa amekuwa desperate na mdi wa kuja kwa overthrowiwa na Muhammad Dubuye Colonel Muhammad Dubuye eh, alikuwa ameenda alikuwa anaitwa Alpha Conde alikuwa ameenda tamu ya tatu so popularity yake kaisha watu wakaanza kutaka kumkula so aliendea Dubuye Dubuye na yeye alikuwa kwa hizo mercenary ya ya ya, 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 ya France So Dumboya pia ndiye alikuja kumwarest na akamtoa na akachukua akakuwa president. Dumboya alikuwa analipa 50 million Kenyan shillings kila mwezi. So the same same way president aki lose popularity. Hata huyu wenyewe aki lose popularity that is what he will do. So now uh, Al Bashir ndiye alipatia Dagalo hizi nini powers. So Dagalo akakuwa na utajiri mwingi sana. So wakati uh, US walikuja wakamban wakamsanction yeye yeah, alipeleka da alikuwa anapeleka dhabu yake direct anauza akapata pesa yake vizuri kuna visima za mafuta ambazo ni za dagalo today zake mwenye anauza so na yeye akiuza analipa wanajeshi wake anawapatia training fit na anaendelea kuwa recruit kwa wingi na anawalipa i think 10 times more than what the government paying there so wakati waliketi chini wakaanza nani akakuwa akuwe president na yeye dagalo akuwe chini dagalo akakuwa aweze kuwa president deputy president sababu is rich is connected na kuna jeshi ambayo iko juu na akakataa jeshi yake ikishikanishwa na jeshi ya hiyo nje. And that's where today Sudan hakuwezi kuwa na amani. Maybe Dagalo akuwe president. Oh, kila mtu akona jeshi yake. Akona kila mtu akona jeshi yake. Na ya Dagalo ni powerful na Dagalo ni connected. Ya pili Dagalo is very rich. Akona visima za mafuta na akona dhahabu anauza na anauza minerals. Na hizi minerals zake anauza direct. So hakuna mahali ana ati dola ina, inampiga ushuru. Yes inampiga ushuru. Ya tatu So hata kuna time kulikuwa na scandal ya dhahabu hapa Kenya. Ilikuwa inasemekana ilienda Sudan alafu ikaenda kuuzwa. So what I'm telling you Dubai kuna soko ya dhahabu whereby hata uibe dhahabu hapa. Ukienda Dubai ofai kuuliza na mtu ni uhuru. So hiyo dhahabu ilikuwa imepelekwa hapa hivi ilipelekwa ikaingia Sudan I think ilienda through Dagalo akaenda kuuza na kule. So wakati now such a person wakati alikuja huko Kenya jeshi ya nchi ule Bruhan eh, ndio ikukaanza kuwa juu Bruhan akona pia watu na msupport Dagalo pia kuna watu na msupport lakini majority can tell you majority of Sudan pale wana support jeshi ya nchi ya Bruhan sababu Hemedi Dagalo ametoka from the smallest uh, tribe pale. So kwa hizi nchi za Kiarabu na Patanga wale watu kuna mtu mmoja ni wanafuata mambo ya dini unapata kwa dini sana. Kuna waislam fulani wanaitangwa PSC sijui nini. So kina Emedi Emedi ayuko huko sababu Emedi alisema uh, Dagalo alisema kitu moja nakubaliana na Dagalo alisema wakati akikuwa president Sudan kuna hiyo story ya kusema ati one one religion yeye atasema watu watu wakujeishi pale hao wengine wapendi kitu kama hizo sababu ni watu wa islamu wakaonataka ikuwe islam state na hizo ndio vita ziko pale so that's why wakati dagalo alikuja huku kulikuwa na hybrids kidogo wanakuja kuongea nini huku but then us dagalo pia amechanga us sana remember during 1990s eh, osama alikuwa anakaa sudan alikuwa anakaa pa sudan na alikuwa analetwa na jamani tu hali tulabi na watu wengine so dagalo is one among the students when you said dika na idea za osama remember osama was not just a criminal was not just a, a terrorist but he was a leader 
of all the terrorists in the world and Osama bin Laden alikuwa mercenary alikuwa trained na Americans very well so alikuwa anajua mambo ya Americans vizuri so the girl is a student who took notes vizuri na akajimarisha na akakuwa fine so that's why kulikuwa na hiyo kulikuwa na hiyo tension kidogo wakati the girl alikuwa hapo again Ruto is a kutukosaidia capitalist. Tusha tolewa kwa communist. Said the China tukatolewa kwa wapi? Kwa capitalist. And that's why we are being exploited every day. That's something people need to know. So now, uh wale ma capitalists waezi furahia kusikia Dagalo ameka huko. Because Dagalo is very powerful. Dagalo ni mse I think Dagalo can be the next Gaddafi. He can be. Akitaka, akiwa serious, he can be. He is very powerful that one. For sure. I'm not saying na si undermine jeshi yetu ama jeshi ya East Africa manina ah, no 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 but the gallo if the gallo today goes to ESC in fact ESC saizi wana i think wanafaa kupea the gallo contract at least ya kuensure East Africa kuna amani kidogo na ianze konko you there is a lot of nonsense that is happening in Congo so if the gallo apewa kandarasi kama hiyo Congo itatulia Congo itakuwa fine hizo exploitations itaisha na I think that's why people wameona like the girl looks like a light. For me, akikuwa president was nini naweza support. Because he's smart, shakuwa connected na the exploitation that Africans countries are being exploited through capitalism. Sababu na we need people like him. Wakuja na jeshi yake, they wipe us them out, they wipe us see our zungu zi NGO zote tutupe to exiende unless we do it for ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Komodi hapa president of Comedy Africa. Yo yo, this is Kushman, pedi wa magenge. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima? Subscribe kwa stories za nini? 254 across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na wewe ndo Dori, subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa wewe finya.